Okie dokie. Uh, curriculum committee meeting of the San Benito CISD Board of Trustees. Uh, we call the meeting to order uh, at 7.19. Uh, Roman number two, review and discussions of the purchase of the Ingenuity digital programs for the 2018-2019 school year. Who is uh, okay. Mr. Madrigal? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we're asking that you all please look this over. This uh, quote here for the services provided to San Benito by Ingenuity would help provide for credit recovery and also for any online classes at the secondary level uh, across the district. Uh, it would also, at all campuses across the district, so uh, not just a middle school or a high school or VMA. Uh, we could use it at any campus. It also uh, would give us the MyPath reading program which is an intervention program for the middle schools and secondary or campus. And there's also a pilot program that's free this year. And it also provides four days of on-site professional development. Any questions? Okay. My only question is I know in the uh, rationale it includes support programs for the Casa Rio Grande and Casa Antigua students, which we recently signed an MOU for. Dr. Carmen, do we know exactly how many students yet those two facilities will yield for these programs? From those two Southwest key programs, how many would be able to use this program? Yeah, have we identified how many high school students specifically yet? Do we have those numbers yet? No, so we have an age range and it, it could change daily there, but they're between 10 years and 17 years uh, of age. But since this is from sixth grade through 12th grade, <laughs> There's a fair chance, let's say three fourths of them could benefit from having this. Okay. Uh, so, so it's inclusive of those two campuses, but all three of our middle schools, uh, VMA, the high school, Gateway, PRC, uh, this is for every secondary campus within our, our district. Great, thank you. Agenda item uh, number three, Roman number three, review discussions of the purchase of uh, iStation. Mr. Yes, Pam, uh, we have a packet here for each one of you. If you want to go over that. And the iStation agreement is a... Uh, Thank you. And we have some other data here if you want to, and Gina's here to, to explain that. But uh, what we did is we compared that to another program that we'd been using this past year, and we, fi we figured that both programs did the same thing. They serviced the same kids. However, we were able to provide the same services to the kids, have the same output for each product, and uh, this one is going to be a significant uh, cost savings for the school district. Uh, and the other company is about uh, seven times, six to seven times more the cost of this product. So we think it's the, in the best interest of the district that we might uh, look at this as, a, uh, as an option. I know they have a one year and two year price range in there, and that's just something for you all to consider. Any questions? Mr. Montreal, just, just remind me real quick, and I, I'm probably when you just handed me. Um, the Imagine Learning that we spent last year, the amount we spent was what nearly, was it 480? Do uh, you recall that number? For the reading and math was about 480, and then when we did the, the other products, it came out to a little bit more than, it was over a half a million, I believe. So uh, this, this saves us a yes, over half. And last year we duplicated the, the effort and we had both products. Uh, so as we've done this past year, we're, we're trying to trim things and, and be more efficient in the district. Yes, sir. That's, Mr. Mother, that's a great way to be uh, fiscally responsible. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, agenda item number four, review discussion of the memorandum of understanding between San Benito CISD and the Workforce Solutions Cameron for the 2018-2019 school year. Dr. Mother, yeah. Mr. Mother, yeah. Yes, ma'am, this, uh, this agreement is just a, an agreement between us and Workforce Solutions, and it helps promote uh, career and job readiness for our students here in the district, and it's uh, something that we would like to, uh, to continue. Uh, it's just uh, our yearly uh, MOU extension with, this, with Workforce Solutions. Any questions from the committee? Very good, thank you, sir. Uh, agenda item, review discussion of the M MO, uh, MU, MOU between San Benito CISD and Texas State Technical College in Hollingen for the Upward Bound program for the 2018-2019 school year. Uh, yes, yes ma'am, and this too is just uh, our annual agreement, uh, the Upward Bound program. Services our kids are most at risk kids, typically our first generation uh, college going kids uh, and it helps with them getting ready for the post secondary readiness and also for those that are not there yet it helps them with their pre uh, college readiness so and it's something we do have and we'd like to continue that as well ma'am any questions from the committee okay agenda item number six Review discussion of the um, uh, em Emory Corp Interlocal Cooperation Agreement between San Benito CISD and UTR GV for the 2018-2019 uh, year. Mr. Madriga. Yes, ma'am. This too is a, an agreement uh, where Pan Am or UTR GV would uh, help promote college awareness by uh, sending people out over here to our GO Center and uh, having our meetings with our students and parents and community members to promote uh, college readiness for our kids. Like it, it's a continuation. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any questions from the committee? Thank you. Uh, do we have any committee concerns? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Uh, I think that uh, I just got notified that uh, I tutor was removed from the agenda, and uh, and of course there's some, there was some miscommunication on that part. Yes. Uh, in the past, uh, we had uh, discussed the I tutor component, and I don't think she is she here. No, she left. She left. Okay. So um, I think what uh, what I'd I'd, I'd I'd like to get is clarification on process and procedures on committee uh, putting items on the agenda for committees. This question is for Doctor for Mr. Mr. Torres. Well, I think I, I can answer that as board president. Um, I think each committee chair reserves the right or consideration of each agenda item. Um, so if there wasn't a conversation with the current chair about proposing the agenda item, then it's up to his or her discretion, uh, which is why I think Peggy, when we have the agenda approved, she sends it to each committee chair. That way they're aware of which agenda items they feel have been talked about and were appropriate enough to reveal on the agenda. And so I don't want to confuse that with putting agenda items on the actual agenda for the regular board meeting where it takes two board members to put that on there. Correct. And, and that's, uh, that's, a good, that's a good practice to, to, uh, to bring about. However, you know, if uh, hindsight to the committees and, uh, and conversations that we have, the purpose of a committee is to bring information and learn about the information, not to make decisions or put things on the agenda. That, and, and I think that's very important for all of us to consider that if, if a board member puts an item on the agenda, uh, we at least should have the courtesy from someone in administration to give us a call and let us know that, this, that that's happening. Um, you know, it, it's embarrassing to, uh, to identify an individual or, or, or just bring about the, the possibility that a person has made arrangements to travel to San Benito from wherever they come from and then at the last minute being turned away. So, you know, that's, uh, that's very, to me, it's very unprofessional. By the same token, uh, so what I'm saying, uh, by, by the same token, it's uh, 
like you said, it, it's unprofessional to not take consideration the chairperson of that uh, board also. I mean, it's it, it, to find out, okay? It's a two-week thing. So I think, uh, I know, Jenny, this is your meeting, but I'm gonna go ahead and table go this ahead. conversation. Um, I think at the end of the day, there just needs to be clearer communication between all board members. So I think we can speak to this at okay. a, a later time. Okie dokie. Anything else? We adjourn uh, at 729. Thank you.